Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna be doing another episode of Hot New Shit. So this is, uh, you know, some of the latest and greatest of things that are coming out soon or that just came out. You might hear Turbo in the background. She's like Johnny. She doesn't want to be in the video, but she likes to be heard. Right? All right, so the first thing I want to talk about is from ColourPop. I know ColourPop is always in hot new shit. It's because they're always coming out with hot new stuff. And they finally came out with lip glosses. And I have been waiting for this, waiting so patiently. I love lip glosses. I'm not really crazy about like deep or dark or like really vibrant lip gloss colors, but I love nude lip glosses. I could never have too many or pinks or neutrals. So ColourPop came out with 20-ish, I wanna say it's 21 new shades of ultra glossy lip glosses. And there are three different formulas. I could have sworn when I saw the little paper that they sent it with, it said that there was four formulas, but I'm looking at all of them right now and I'm only seeing three. So there is the sheer one, which is like you would expect a sheer lip gloss. You know, it's got a little kiss of color in it, but for the most part, it's sheer. This is the color that I'm wearing right now. By the way, this is the shade Abu. There's the cream formula, which has definitely got a thicker texture to it, and it's a little bit more opaque than the sheer ones. And this is the shade Master Plan. It's definitely got more of like color intensity, color payoff to it. And then there is the metallic formula, which as you would expect, is very metallic. And this is the color Cheat Code, and this is basically like a liquefied penny. Really intense color. I thought there was two different metallic type of formulas. Maybe one of them has glitter in it and one of them doesn't. Maybe that's what it is. So here is Tight Fit. This is um, a peachy one that is a metallic formula. And this one looks like it has a little bit of glitter in it. So maybe that's the difference in the two um, metallic formulas. This one's so pretty. It's like kind of got a little bit of iridescent, like almost purpley goldish in there, which is really, really pretty. Let me try a little bit of this on top of what I'm wearing right now. Take it there, girl. Take it there. What do you think? Definitely makes it like more glossy. It has more of a metallic vibe to it, but it's not like crazy. This one isn't like a crazy, crazy metallic, which I think is good for a lighter shade. A lighter shade metallic is gonna end up looking like too silvery on your lips in my opinion. Um, but there's a lot of cool shades in here, a lot of unique shades. There's a few nudes. Let me just show you guys the nudes because you know. So we have five different nudie type shades here. The first one is a boo, which is sheer formula, which is what I was wearing underneath tight fit. That one really cute, kind of like a soft fleshy pink shade. We have Fairy Floss, which is another sheer formula. This one is a little bit more neutral to cool undertoned, kind of more of like a beige feel. And that is also sheer. We have WeHo, which is a cream formula. And this one's a little bit more of like a beige kind of tan skin formula is what it kind of reminds me of. This one has been swatched next to the Kylie Literally shade. It's pretty similar, I have it here. So this is the Kylie Literally, which is one of my favorite lip glosses ever. This is WeHo right here next to it. It's a little bit different. The WeHo one is just a tad bit lighter. And the formula actually seems to be a little bit more watery. Like not watery, but it's not quite as thick as the Kylie lip glosses are. It's a little bit more slim thick. We have Piranha. Uh, we have Piranha, which is a sheer formula. This is like a baby pink color. And then we have Bestie, which is a cream shade. And this one's a little bit more of that kind of mauve pinky color. This is more of an op opaque shade. And then of course, Tight Fit that I showed you guys, the more metallic formula of nude. Those are kind of like all the nude shades that are a part of this collection. And then we've also got, of course, ColourPop has to do the funky colors, which is what I really love, what I think we all really love about them. This first one is Crystal Ball. This is a metallic formula. This is a really deep emerald green shade. Just a really glossy, like soft metallic kind of formula. And then in the middle, this gray one is called Fluff, which is a really cool like stone gray color. This is a cream formula, so that's why it looks a lot more opaque than the one next to it, which is Catalina. I think this one's so pretty. This is like a Barbie doll lavender shade. And this is a sheer formula, but I really like this one. I think this is like a really cool color. It's unique, but it's still pretty wearable. And then you've also got some of the reds and corals in the collection. Like if I was gonna be wearing this lip color, I probably wouldn't be wearing a gloss that's this color, just because they do bleed a little bit. Not like a ton when they're on your lips, but I feel like they do kind of move around. It would just make me nervous having a really bright, red lip gloss on like if the wind touches it it'll get all over your face i'm probably gonna like lean towards like a liquid lipstick or a regular lipstick if i'm gonna wear this shade 
but these are really cool colors. So we have Tokyo Tea, which is a really cool corally shade. That's a cream formula, which I really like the cream formula. Saddle Up, which is a sheer. Honey Bee, which is a cream. This one's a really, really pretty color. Very, very pink, and it's also a super opaque shade. Taro, which is a really bold, like red orange. This one's also a cream. And then we have Casino, which is a sheer. I actually really, this is probably my least favorite color in this collection. It kind of reminds me, because it's such like a cherry red color, I don't, it kind of reminds me of like, kid lip gloss, you know? All right, next up are some more lip glosses and these ones are from Kylie Cosmetics. She came out with some new shades and her first three that came out was like literally so cute. Loved that trio, the lighter nude, medium tone nude, and then a deeper nude. I just, I really love her glosses. I know there were some issues with the packaging and the wand and everything, but she made it shorter. I still use my janky wand, like not stopping me. Let me just tell you that right now. Anyway, so I really like this shade literally of the Kylie glosses is one of my favorite nude lipsticks, like 1000%. I was wearing it every single time I wore nude lipstick. I love the color, I love the formula, I love everything about it. She came out with some more shades, which I think are just corresponding to her, her matte liquid lipsticks. So she came out with Coco K, Posey K, and Candy K. So here are the three glosses right here. On this side, the lightest one is Coco K, middle is Posey K, and then this one is Candy K. I really like this Candy K color. I'm wondering if like I would really like the matte one but I feel like wearing these shades in a lip gloss is easier for me to wear than in a matte liquid lipstick. But these are the colors. I love this formula. It, it's really, really nice. It's basically like a liquid lip without being matte. I really do like it. They don't move around a lot. They don't crease in the lips. They're just really pretty. And then also she came out with a new color called Exposed, which I'm gonna add on here, which I love. So here is the new exposed color. I love this nude. It's definitely got a lot more warmth in it than the literally shade. It's really pretty on the skin. I, I really love this color. I'm going to compare it next to literally for you guys. So here is one of her first gloss shades called literally. And this is a really pretty color. It definitely like blends in with my lip tone really nicely. I love this one. And then here is exposed. You can see it's got a little bit more warmth to it, a little bit more of like that kind of orangey, peachy undertone. All right, next item I have for you guys is another lip product. I think this is the last of all the lips that I have today. But this is a new product from Ofra and they came out with metallic liquid lips. And last time I talked to you guys about metallic lips was when ColourPop came out with them and I was like, I'm not super excited about the color range. I'm not zonked about it, you know? I kind of feel the same way about these ones. They're really pretty, but I'm not zonked about it. I'm not like, wow, I really, actually this one's kind of cool. If I take it away from these two, I like this one, right? But I feel like when I put it with these, it makes it not as exciting for me, but I do like this one. But these two, I just don't know if I'll ever wear. So they have three shades here. This first one is Versailles. I haven't worn it on my lips yet, but when I put it on my hand, I was like, it looks really like white to me. Like I just imagine it looking really sus on my lips. Like the undertone of it is kind of, you know, a little nudie, a little pinky kind of light already. And then you add that silver reflection to it. And I feel like it's just gonna look really sus on me. This is like the lightest color I've worn on my lips in a long time. Probably because I did the whole white hair thing, I feel like it's kind of thrown me off where I feel like I can't really wear really light colored lipsticks. Like when I used to wear like Myth all the time, creme de nude, I don't know. But this one just seems really light to me. Oh, that one was called Versailles and this one is called Monaco. So here is Monaco, cool color. I feel like I would love to have this as like a foiled eyeshadow shade. These two, you know, pop them on my lid. On my lips, I'm not really sure. They seem kind of light to me, but this is a cool color. I could see some people rocking the shit out of that. I just feel like maybe my lips are too crinkly, like crinkle cut fries to really be able to pull off a of Are you agreeing with me right now? No, I like crinkle cut fries. Oh, uh, is that what you're thinking about? This color is cool, Santorini. Mm-hmm. I like this one. This one I could see myself wearing. This is like that. I feel like I kind of asked for this in my last video. Like if I could get a hot pink that was metallic, I would wear it. I'm gonna try this shade out next. They look pretty on my hand. I just don't know about those first two wearing it on my lips. You know what I'm saying? It seems a little much for me, but I really like that pink one, Santorini. So these are new ones from Ofra. If they're anything like their other liquid lipstick formula, they're awesome because I love Ofra's liquid lipsticks. They also have like some of the best nude shade liquid lipsticks, which is really hard to find in my opinion. Um, but I really like those ones. All right, next thing I have for you guys is pretty exciting. This is a new product from Urban Decay, their all-nighter liquid foundation. This is a full coverage, long wear, matte, 
finish waterproof oil free foundation. Um, so Desi actually tried this first and she said, dude, this foundation is awesome. You need to try it out. So I said, okay, okay, let me try it out. I, I did put it on my face. I had the totally wrong shade. I used shade number five, which is a yellow warm undertone, but it was too dark on me. It just really looked like I had like yellow foundation on my face. You know what I mean? So this is a really full coverage foundation. So with full coverage foundations, you really got to make sure you get the right shade because it really stands out a lot more on your skin. That's one of the things like that sucks about really full coverage foundation is that you can really see it if it's the wrong color, but they actually have a really cool way of their numbering. So it's like the whole numbers are warm undertones, 0.25 is neutral, 0.5 is subtle pink undertones. But when I was looking at the shade range, there was only one neutral one, which was 3.25 and I got 3.5. So I don't have the 3.25 that has the neutral undertone, which I feel like would be my shade. So it's an ounce of foundation, really chic, sexy packaging. I know like for me, I love squeezy foundations, anything I can pump. Squeezy tube is my actual favorite uh, form of foundation packaging, but this is a really, really intense full coverage foundation. Definitely not one you need to layer. You put one coat on, it's definitely done. It has more coverage than Makeup Forever. It has more coverage than Maybelline Matte and Poreless, more coverage than the L'Oreal Pro Glow. Those are definitely like medium coverage foundations that are buildable. I'm wearing the uh, Matte and Poreless right now, one layer, and then I do extra layers on my cheeks. This is definitely one and done. Dunzo. Not as matte as the L'Oreal Pro Matte. This one has a modern matte finish is what they call it, which is definitely like what I'm seeing. It's not like a powdery looking finish, but it's definitely got that soft matte, the matte finish. So let me show you guys shade number five. One little drop like that. I'll show you guys how much it covers. It's So shade five, this is a medium with a subtle warm undertone, I believe. Here's shade five. You can see it's definitely got a full coverage. You can't see no vein. You can see my vein all the way down here, but you definitely can't see it under here. So there is shade number five. You can see the finish to it. It's definitely got like a nice soft matte finish. So let's try shade number four and do a little bit less. So here's what I just put out for shade number four. There's shade number four right here. I put out a lot less product for this one too. But that one looks pretty good. Let me just do shade 3.5. I think this one's got like a pink undertone. All right, so here is shade 3.5. Definitely see those subtle pink undertones in there. Dude, this stuff like really oxidizes. Look at how much darker it's getting. Like shade five, shade four. Like you can see it on the edges. Do you see it happening down here on 3.5? Anyway, so you can see this foundation definitely oxidizes quite a bit. I feel like it's a little bit trickier to pick um, your shade out when it's a really full coverage foundation and then on top of that it oxidizes. But besides that, I'm really excited to try this out. If you guys have tried it out, let me know. I know Desi loves it. I'm gonna give shade number four a try and I will report back to you. All right, next item we have is also from Urban Decay, and this is their new eyeshadow palette, the Moon Dust Eyeshadow Palette, and their packaging is always 100. They know what they're doing over there at Urban Decay. They got the really cool foundation packaging. They got the really cool box. This is one of those boxes that I wouldn't want to throw away, you know? I want to keep it. Even the back is all shimmery. So this is a new eyeshadow palette, uh, eight new shades, including blah, 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 blah. And here's what the palette looks like. It's just so cool looking. I love like that font. Everything about it is just really, it's very appreciated. Every time I look at their packaging, I'm just like, I appreciate all the time and creativity and thought that went into that package. We appreciate, we appreciate you. And then it's got this really cool sparkly package. And inside there are eight new moon dust eyeshadows. So these are kind of like a duo chrome, like multi-dimensional eyeshadow. So let's swatch, I haven't swatched these yet. So I'm gonna go to my three favorite shades. Vega, ooh, yes, galaxy, lithium, lithium. If you saw it, it has like really cool green in it and then um, light year. All right, so I really like Vega cause I love blue and I love light year. Lithium is kind of like, I don't really like the undertone in it. It's not giving it to me as much as it did in the thingy. And I also really like Galaxy. So they're definitely more of like that, like flaky kind of texture because they have so much reflection in it, which was is what makes them look so cool. So this is definitely not a palette for everybody, but it is a sick palette. I just said sick. Yeah, that's right. Woo! That orangey one element is pretty cool and then Spectre under it and then Granite underneath that. 
So there's a lot of fun colors in here. I mean, I feel like Urban Decay is always doing like different types. And you know, I really love the fact that none of these shadows have like that gray or silver glitter in it. That's like the one thing I really just don't like about a lot of eyeshadows is when they have like chunky glitter in it. I really like the more foiled ones like this. I think it's pretty cool. All right, so we have some more new eyeshadows and these ones are from NARS. NARS, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And these are called, what are they called? Oh, I threw away the package. Hardwired eyeshadow is what they're called. So got to it just a little bit. So these are kind of like those duo chromey, kind of like, um, I was gonna say hard candy. Do you guys remember hard candy? Did you ever buy hard candy makeup? This is like the color that's singing to me right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this one. So this is called Outer Limits. Pretty cool looking, but you can see it's more of like a sheen rather than like a really intensely pigmented like eyeshadow color. Let's try this color. This color is also singing to me. This one, this is called Earth Shine. This one is a lot more like finer than this one. This one kind of blended onto my skin a lot more nicely. This color's pretty rad. Like in this angle, it looks really pink. And then when I like swirl it, it turns blue. Whoa, this color's really intense. Parallax, this bluish, this bluish color is like really, look at how crazy pigmented this one is. That is Parallax. Oh, this one's doing the same thing. Pygar, Peeger. Ooh, this one's like a really pretty sage color. <gasps> how would you say this, John? Gar, the PY is silent. PY is silent, okay. Next shade is called Stud. Kind of like a Toby Brown. It's all right, it's all right. It's not, it's not serving me right now. All right, now this last color is called Lunar. This is like a really pretty like iridescent purpley pink shade. Ooh, that one's icy as well. Okay, so this is pretty interesting. Those first two that I swatched had like a totally different formula than the rest of them, it feels like. Like, I feel like you can even see the difference. Like, these two are a lot more chunky, like more flaky than the rest of them. I'm like, are they all the hardwired shadows? Are they different formulas? I'm not sure I threw away the packages already. <laughs> but anyway, I think my favorite one is probably the sage color. This is so pretty. I really wanna wear this all over my face one of these days. Look at that. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. They're really pretty. They're not like totally crazy like out there like the Urban Decay shadows are, but it's NARS, you know, they're not really known for being like super wild, but they do have a lot of good products. You guys know one of my favorite eyeshadows is from NARS, Galapagos, NARS by Galapagos, you know. Last thing I'm gonna talk to you guys about today are brushes. I hated that, why did I do that? These are new brushes from Morphe, and um, this is in another Elite collection. Elite second part or a separate Elite collection? Because they look different, I don't know. So the Elite collection from Morphe is actually my favorite collection of all their brushes. That's the collection that I use the most of. That's what I used to buff out my under eye concealer. It's like my favorite, a lot of eyeshadow packing. Used to use it for contouring my nose. I just really like the, the Elite collection. So I was excited that they sent me the Elite, second Elite collection. This is my first time like really laying them all out and checking them all out. We have the big boys, the big dogs. And these, like sometimes I'm like, what am I gonna do with like, this is E41, this is huge. This is gigantic. But I'm thinking, you know, summertime, a little bronzing powder, highlighting powder all over the body, really great for that. Um, this is a great foundation brush, E31. I haven't used a flat top kabuki in a long time, but it's a great way to apply foundation and to apply it quickly. Um, here's another, ooh, it's a big boy, a big boy. E54, another flat top kabuki brush. We have a nice looking angled contour brush right here. This is like the world's biggest fan brush. I could probably just do like highlighting my whole body with this one. This is massive. You can repaint the house with it. You wanna repaint the house with this? So I'm really intrigued by this one. This one is catching my eye. This is the E49. It reminds me a lot of my MAC one, which I use for under my eyes. It's a little bit smaller. You like how I have it right here, just in case. Never know where you're gonna need it, especially with this glitter that I'm wearing right now, just, you know? This is a MAC 116. This is what I'm currently using on my under eyes. This one just, it's, it's got a nice shape to it. It's, it's speaking to me right now. It's singing to me. I don't know exactly what I want to use it for yet, but I definitely want to put it on my face. Yeah, you do. Yeah, I do. Ooh, yes. This is, see, yeah, it just feels right on my face. Um, what else do we have? This one's looking all right too. E3, maybe a little, what do you think about that? Can you deal with that? Let's check out these eye ones. The smaller ones, I feel like they're really long for eyeshadow brushes sometimes. 
but maybe I need to try it. This one looks really great. This is E14. Looks like a nice packing brush, like for eyeshadow, like a lid color. So there are quite a few brushes in this collection. I'm probably not gonna like use all of them. What do you use this for? But there are a lot of great brushes in here. The quality of the Elite collection is amazing. I thought they discontinued the original Elite collection, but maybe they brought it back, I'm not sure. I did stock up on some of the E8s just in case they did run out because I can't have that happen to me. All right, so that wraps up today's video of hot new shit. I am so excited about everything that we talked about today, as you can tell with the level of my voice. I decided I'm just gonna let my volume do what it needs to do. You guys made fun of me but then you told me you miss it. Anyway, I always get excited when I talk about hot new shit. I can't control my volume. It's just the way it is. But let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below what you're really excited to try. Other than that, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. Everybody! Nobody needs to know. Cut the fucking camera.